from now until the end of the dorm design contest, I'm going to be spending a few days to review some of the entries that were given within the competition. There are hundreds of entries that I have to go through, but I can't get through every single one of them. I'll do as much as I can within these few videos, and if you're a lucky one, I might be reviewing yours in this video or the next few ones. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this experience of me reviewing every single dormitory in detail. And if not, let's start the show for the day. Okay, I've got a few dormitories right in front of me. Let's get to reviewing. Now the first dormitory that we're seeing over here is this one called Late Night Shift. It's done by the author of Chrysios. Uh, that's a very, very nice name. I wonder how you came up with the name like that. But let's read the description. Um, this is described as a quiet night in the office working on some documents. I love the vibe of this office. Now that you tell me, uh, now that you state that this is an office over here, uh, definitely I, I had the thinking this is either an apartment because it felt like, you know, this could be like the little studio on the right or like the office room on the right and then the living room on the left. But for it to be an office, it's still understandable. So it's kind of like the... Uh, it, it makes it feel like Amiya's like the CEO, you know, um, owning her own grand office and then having like a meeting space on the left. I really love the fact that you chose different furniture sets to go about making this dorm because uh, that really sparks the creativity. That, that really sets off the creativity that you have that you really took the effort to think about how you want to lay out everything. And you split the room very nicely into two with a left side and a right side. The right side being the office, the left side being the um, little meeting space. And you even make it very clear cut. There's a, like this nice little gramophone that puts in the middle and with the lighting as well. The gramophone that you chose in the middle, that is awesome. Like I feel the vibe of the room when I look at it like that, you know. It makes me feel like I can listen to the sounds of the room, the music that might be playing while Amiya is just sitting on her own desk and, you know, just doing her work in the night. Maybe the doctor just walks into the room, give her a little bit of a, a drink just to help her out over there. So this is really a good start to my uh, reviewing journey for today that I really love the creativity that goes in this one. Uh, it's such a nice moody little vibe. Uh, and actually, you know, the, the fact that you chose this Lieutenant Knight background, it makes me feel like the room may have like little toggle of a lighting that could change along with the day. So maybe if it wasn't nighttime, the room would actually be a brighter setting, maybe a more orange kind of lighting that goes around it. So it gives the office a little bit more of a uh, futuristic feel, I suppose, uh, at the same time. Modern, futuristic, cozy place, all in one. So to Chrysios, to your dormitory over here, thanks for making me happy to look at it because this is really, really well done. I hope that you get a shot at winning um, later on. Although there are so many entries in this competition, it is crazy. And with the amount that I want to try to review, I definitely can't review as many. But hopefully, you appreciate this opportunity that I get to show your dormitory first off in this video. Now let's move on to the next dormitory. The next one that we have is Paint Over Metal. And this is by the author of Doko. So it's a mixture of both sisters' limited dorm decorations, Nian and Dusk, right? There's a dormitory that came in Ancient Forge. There's also another one that came um, during Who is Real. So the blend of brown complements the light aesthetic of it with eastern potted plants and a lantern bonsai tree. So let me take a look at it. Yeah, definitely the two rooms go together very well. I believe one of the rooms is called... I'm not very certain if it's Yen Style Hall. I might be mistaking the, the theme of the room. I'm going to put it as Yen Style Hall first and then it's mixed together with the Zen Garden Room. Those two really complement very well because they all have this like white little aesthetic of a... Uh, dormitory that goes around. And it's very interesting when um, you think of Chinese New Year as a time where you celebrate because of the colour of red. But um, instead, Arknights went with a more pure design of choosing the colour of white to represent the whole festivities of Chinese New Year. So it's really, really wonderful that you merge the two of it together. And I, I think it's the same feeling that I got with the dormitory I just reviewed before. You gave the room a nice split. Uh, you can feel the centre, you can feel that there's a left and there's a right to the room. The left being this like uh, nice little cozy uh, resting spot. Is it a bed actually? I think it's a bed. Yeah, it looks like a bed over there or like a, a little chair that you can sit on. And then afterwards on the right, you have like the little desk. So you have like you have like Nian being able to do her own calligraphy, her own little work on the right. Maybe they even share their own spaces together. So it's honestly a really sweet design, a nice fusion of the two. And I love that you put the two of them in the room as well to really encapsulate that this belongs to them. These furniture sets are one of the bestest in AK. And you've put it so well together that 
I want to own this. I want this room to be my dormitory right now uh, so that I can get that nice little vibe. Like, of course, the def default furniture team sets, they are nice, decent enough. But when custom ones are put in the hands of people who really know what they're doing, this is beautiful. So well done to you. I really love the aesthetic. I hope that you get a shot as well. Now let's go into the next dormitory that we're going to review, which is... Ooh, Hall of Honor. And it's done by the author of N. So, his descriptions say nothing special. Which, okay, a little undenying there. It can feel like it's nothing special. But I have to say, the simplicity, the fact that you didn't overly clutter with like a lot of furnitures, it gives it a very elegant design. It's definitely... It reminds me of when I had my own period of time when I was in like the military and whatnot. And then I go into the room that really has a hall of honor, like all those kind of display and badges and everything all put on the wall. It gives me that feeling, you know. You chose a great uh, lighting to line up on the top. You chose these beautiful curtains over there. You, Of course, you lined up the uh, glorious uh, banners of the various CCs. And then you put it off with that nice little trident in the middle and that nice uh, Casimir's emblem that's right on the top. With the, I'm not very certain where the emblems on the top left and the top right came from. I think they came from CC as well. But it's very, very clean of a design. I, I, I love the fact that you gave it even more importance by putting a CCTV camera on that top right corner there to really make that highlight of, you know, this is a very VIP room. It's a very important uh, room that, you know, there's, there needs to be the... It's a very important room that there needs to be the security to take care of these items. You don't want them to exit the room at all. And this feels like uh, one of the rooms that you might possibly find within Rhodes Island. So you don't have to feel that it's nothing special because I do think, I will have to say that the design is really good. Um, it may not hit that dormitory ambience of 5,000, but the simplicity is very appreciated. So well done to you, Anne. Um, do not discourage on yourself. You're in this to win this, all right? So give love to your work whenever you guys are joining in this competition. So well done. Let me move on to the next one. All right, this is Rhodes Symphonia and is done by the author of Strawberry Pa. Inspired by Amiya because she plays the violin and there's the total ambience of 5,000. Um, interesting, because I was talking about total ambience just now. I don't think there's a must for you to hit a total ambience of 5,000 in this competition. It's perfectly fine if you don't hit it, because as long as you give the mood, the vibe of the room that makes it a brilliant dormitory, that is amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at the room that we have over here. Uh, it's... Man, I don't exactly recognize all of the furniture and where they came from. I know some came from the hotel. Uh, there's, there's some that seems to come from the Casimir's room as well. Um, the blue glassy design, I cannot recall where that comes from. I can tell there's a uh, who is real uh, dormitory style that's on the left with those scrolls over there. And actually, it's a mix of everything. There's so many furniture choices that you put in this one to clump it together to make this a very beautiful room. Actually, the other thing that I'm curious about is, is this room an apartment? because I'm not catching it immediately just yet. I see that there's a rest area on the right. There's the piano in the middle. So again, it sets off that left-right. Actually, instead of left-right, it's a left-right middle uh, section of this kind of room. On the left, I think it's because of the chair being in front of the table and it's like facing forward from the table. That's why I can't tell if it's a work desk or it's like a... Uh, awkwardly placed chair over there. You may want to do some shifting on the left side because it confuses me a little bit. But I can see how there's, there's those paintings that you put right behind the desk. So it gives me that feeling of it's a work area. That's on the left. It's a rest area on the right and that nice musical place in the middle. So for sure, it, got, it does give the sound of symphonia that you have stated for the name of this dormitory. Uh, I will say very elegant, very, very classy of a room. Uh, it's got a mixture, actually, of both the modern and it's... Because of the scrolls that you put on the left, it's, it feels like there's a bit of a tradition that comes together in one in this room. So there's that. But I will have some pointers of improvement on this one, which is the color of white and brown. I find that it's too... 
Okay, it's great because you chose two colors, but I think it's very striking at the moment. It's it makes um the the white stands out more than the other furnitures. Usually, the brighter colors are the things that we see first. So it, it creates this feeling of a, a dislodge when you put the dark and the uh, bright all together in one. Um, if you put a furniture set where it's like black and white, it's understandable. But I'm not very certain about the the mix over here. Okay, it's not just the white and the brown because there's also the reddishness that's on the, the, the sides of the wall. There's also the yellow that goes around. But they're all very different tint. So they kind of clash a little bit. But at the end of the day though, would I want to keep this dormitory? I don't see why not. Like, it is still a very, very nicey one. I may rearrange a little bit. And I do feel that for your entry into this competition, you have done it. You have done a great shot in this one. Hopefully, people will be there to vote for you in this point in time. So, good job on you, Strawberry Pa. And I hope to see more entries from you when your star comes about with more dormitory contests for us. Let's go to the next storm. Now, this dormitory is Seaside Natural Bar and it's done by Shiratori. Okay, Shiratori, you've done a bit of a camera angle trouble here. You zoomed in so close that I don't see the doors on the side anymore. It might have been your intention, but uh, it, it makes me feel like I'm very close to the room. Uh, not really how I thought of wanting to feel on the dormitories. But okay, let's take a look, quick look at it. Um, so it's a bar that's got a seaside feel. I can see that there's the background at the back, so it gives me that feeling of, you know, seeing whatever that's going on there. There's a wall over there, it's like a restaurant-y place, and there's the food on the side, there's the decorations with the menu over there as well. Now, the trouble that I find in this one is that if this was a seaside place, right, I would want that vibe of seeing things around. Like, uh, if we think of a coastal beach resort kind of thing, we wouldn't feel too good if... Now, imagine if you're a customer. You sit on the table that's on the left over there, and then you're facing that white wall. You know, that's not really the mood that you want to go for. You want to, like, be able to look out and be like, wow, the beach is right beside me, the port is right beside me, and it gives you that good uh, feeling of eating at this particular place. Because um, this is supposed to be, like, a, a, a bar of sorts, it the, the white as a color choice to surround the floor and the background um it it i feel like it doesn't accentuate the the classiness of a bar just yet it would have been nicer if you went with like the hotel um kind of background to go like to go about complementing it but i get why i chose the white because if i'm not wrong that seaside background comes with the whitishness that's on the left and the right so it does give the challenge of how will you make do with that constraint to build this very beautiful dormitory. Um, the other trouble that I have over here is the fact that you put a lot of operators in here. So it gets, it gets me to feel like I'm in a very crowded place, which crowded places are nice and all, but sometimes if you want to just relax, you wish that there's that um, serene feel of really enjoying the mood of the place. So what I may suggest over here is a, a choice of the the color give this place more uh, elegance more gorgeousness to really bomb it and make me feel like wow i'm actually gonna pay lots of money to visit a bar like that um it would have been nice if you pan the camera in a way where there's someone behind the counter to make it seem like someone is working there now because now everyone is scuddy and gladia and silver ash they walked into this restaurant but no one is you know serving at the counter which feels a little awkward um but all in all though it is a very, very good effort of making this nice little bar restaurant design that is just nice right beside a beautiful scenery. I do like the fact that you put those Siesta Hut. Uh, uh, is it Siesta Hut? I believe it's Siesta Hut's furnitures on the left and the right to give it that uh, fruity tropical feel of a place. Uh, just need to really work on the blend, the, the, the combination of everything to come together and build this to be a beautiful, beautiful bar. Oh, and then now that I think about it, I haven't read your description yet, which is a refreshing semi-outdoor bar styled after Iberia Seaside Cottage. It's natural atmosphere. It's a great place to hang out after a long shift. Uh, actually, when you make me think of Iberia, um, 
you did make me think about the fact that sometimes the buildings... You, I mean, if you look at the building outside, right, there's the white color uh, uh, walls. So it does give the reasoning of this one. But still, I yeah, looking for the punch to really give this that bombing of a dormitory. So really, really nice effort for, on you, Shiratori. Again, I want to see more dormitories from you. It is a very, very nice time to review a dormitory. Thank you for this. Let's go to the next dormitory. Okay, this one is... <laughs> I, I get it, I get it. Laplands and Texas private room. So this is done by Senzame or Senzame. Here we see Lappy and Texas in their room. I really like this pair. I try to make something like hotel room with warm atmosphere. This gives uh, the whole dormitory a very lusty feel, don't you think? It's like the very like... Ooh, you, you feel like something's gonna happen in the next minute just because this room is a thing. Uh, it's got a nice vibe to it, I would say. Uh, there's a nice little fireplace in the middle. I like the touch of the plant that you put beside the fireplace. And there's the lamp as well. But the trouble that I find is that because this room is meant to be the... How do, we f how do I call it? Let's put it as it's meant to have a bit of a loving atmosphere. It feels a little bright now. I kind of wish there was less lights, but I'm not very certain how you're supposed to pull that off as well. Because it's so bright, it feels like um, people are watching them as things happen, you see. So... That's that's just a, a little bit of a nitpick point that I have towards it, but it's a it's still a very very nice design of putting that plant uh over there, the the paintings on the side, nice little drinks over there, and of course, you chose the red and white bed when you could choose any other bed. You know, you definitely wanted to put a point across when you chose that bed over there. So I get it. Uh, it does send off that feeling of this being a private room, but I this one I would say that it feels too little on furniture, I feel like you could have added more things. But the more things isn't light. Could you put more things that are more playful? More um, something that really makes it feel like it's a room that you paid hundreds of dollars off in order to have your own private time in here. That's kind of how I'll put it there. But it's a cute one. Uh, very, very interesting concept of an idea that you went with. So good job on you to have made this dormitory. I liked it. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. And the next one that we have is Winter's Coming. And this is made by Nakano. And this is the resting place that is made just for every winter. All right, um, let's take a look at it. Okay, hmm. This one, I do have a little bit of trouble. So you went on with merging a lot of furniture sets in here, right? Uh, you chose the Penguin Logistics background. You chose the uh, ballroom pillars over there. You put some of the uh, Chinese uh, furniture that's within here. Uh, the tribal hut, the one with from the Gaviao event. There are those things on the right. Uh, there's the cottage bed that's on the left. But the trouble I find now is that you call this a winter dormitory. But the background you chose is that little nightish feel. And Penguin Logistics is a, a warehouse vibe or like a, a room of a workshop. So it doesn't quite tally with the theme that you seem to describe in your description and your title. And the other trouble I have is that the furnitures really, really clash. They... You're putting a uh, tribal-like fireplace with a wooden bed. And then the wooden bed is beside marble pillars, which is in the middle of it, you have this like uh, first out kind of sofa. I believe there's a sofa. And there's the tree. Those things, you put them all together, it's like a... It feels a bit odd. A fireplace should not exist beside a room that is full of wooden furniture. You get what I mean? Because it's a fire hazard in a way. Usually it goes into rooms that have like full-on marble, full-on uh, metal that goes on that makes it really come together. So 
Oh, no, there's another thing. It makes me feel like the right side of the room is ritualistic instead of, like, it being a place to cool down for winter. If you chose the fireplace that is the standard one, like the rectangular one, I think that would have fit the room a little better. But now it it's just a thing where it feels like there's a lot of things that just merge together to put it there. But nonetheless, though, um, I do love the fact that you put several operators in this room. Feels like you might have picked, it feels like you might have picked some of your favorite ones to uh, create this dormitory uh, to what you want it to be. And at the same time, uh, the setting of it being like a resting place, I still get that. All right, you put the door, you you put the bed nicely on the right. Um, there's a, a little area that you can just sit down and rest beside that bonsai tree. So it's still a very very good effort of things. With some work on, with more little um, uh, watchfulness on your interior design over there, the dormitory can still be one that goes far. So very, very nice effort on you, Nakano. Uh, well done. I do hope to see you entering more dorm design contests in the future. Let's look at the next dormitory. All right. This dormitory is called the Hall of Victory, and it's made by SS Viet, with my MVP in the middle. <laughs> it's a Saria in the middle. Um... I would have a bit of trouble with this one because this is basically a room where you place all the banners, you slap it on, you place your CC staff there, and then you place the light, little lighting. So we reviewed a previous like Hall of Honor room just now, right? Where that one you can really see there's that choice of the lighting, the choice of the background, um, really arranging the things in order, um, choosing the furnitures to even more... It, uh, amplify the fact that it's a very important room. But this one here feels like Sarah's in a prison warden skin, which makes me think that she's handling security matters now. She's staring at all the banners like as if the like those CCTV televisions, you know, the, like the channel in the security room. So it gets me a little bit ordered out by this one. It would have been great if there were more things around to really give that dormitory the punching feel of wow this really really pushes the bar of creativity and design um the banners is i do see a lot of people who have made rooms where they put all the banners all together so if you want to make that difference of pushing yourself in this dorm design contest i will have to say take the time to think go far think hard about if you want to make your mvp shine like saria what kind of room will you give Saria, you know? Will you give her a beautiful bedroom? Will you give her a nice office? Will you give her a nice relaxation place? Because now, putting her in a room where it's full of uh, the, the achievements that you have done, after a while, even when you have a lot of achievements, you start to, you know, not think about them as much. So, yeah, I will say, get, get some ideas going across to really push forth that next design of yours in the DOM design contest. Like, this is, I, I get that this competition is one of the first few times that people are actually creating custom dormitories. And I love that many of you are really thinking and getting their brain going to design some beautiful stuff. I, I look forward, as has yet, to seeing some great creations, to see your name again, hopefully in the next few entries. And that I'll be wowed and impressed by what you have done. All right, as has yet, I will go to the next dormitory. Okay, a cozy home accompanied by warm drink. So this is done by reverse. This is how I visualize a place that have a cozy atmosphere along with a nice hot drink during the winter. A place together with friends, family, and loved ones. Oh, it's so cute. You put the, the bunny that's like doing the, the stone little grinding thing over there. Um, you've got a nice little cushion on the left as well. And then there's that Rhodes Hotel that's on the right. Um, I wouldn't, I, I guess this is a very cottage feel. So it wouldn't be Rhodes Hotel anymore. It would be like a Rhodes Cottage. The furnitures do have a little bit of complementary that goes in them. That it's uh, the bean max that's on the left over there. You you put a nice little cute uh, statue or like a plushie uh, that's in the middle of the room. That's very very cute. Um, the nice little sofa. The sofa might feel too close to the counter, by the way. Normally it's there's a distance, but I get that there's space constraint. But still, uh, it feels too close to the point where the person working at the counter might have a hard time to walk out, and they'll get very close to the guest. Uh, who might be sitting over there. The, oh, I love the teapot that you put over there as well. Yeah. Oh, you know, it feels like a, 
a place where you and your friends will really just come in, um, sit in here, maybe play some board games, um, have a chill chat time, um, and, and really just get in for the drinks and all. There's a bit of a color conflict that I find now. Because now on the left, you've got the black uh, beanbags that go on. On the middle, you've got this full-fledged white sofa. On the right, you've got the brown um, uh, Rhodes Island uh, counter that goes on. Uh, there's a different tint of brown that goes on the background and the floor. So the when you put all of these colors together, um, to the eye, it doesn't give that whole like boom design. It feels like uh, a, a place where the store may have seen just whatever furniture is available and they put it all in one. Um, I feel like you didn't need to put the CC banners there because they cause even more color conflict. Because the red and the yellow is only on the left of my eye, I don't see it on the right. So you don't have the symmetry that goes with it to really give it the a, a good blend of a feel. Right now, it feels too striking on the left and the right. Um, it's fine to do a perfect middle split of a left and a right, but it must be very evident that, oh, the left has this mood and the right has that mood. So there's that. But I will say, to be someone who loves hanging out with my friends and um, to go out and, and find some really beautiful, comfortable place, this looks nice. It looks really, really cozy. I want to sit on that beanbag right now. Um, really just get a nice cup of like hot chocolate, sit with my friends, have a good chatting session for three hours. So it's a very, very nicely done effort. But hopefully if more time and um, um, designing that goes on with your own custom dormitories, I look forward to really that wow factor that comes in the dormitories. I still do hope that people will look to your dormitory within this competition to give you that wonderful, beautiful likes to your, your work. But in thought, well done to what you have done. I'll be looking at the next dormitory right now. All right, we have this dormitory that's called Chilling After Men's Field Break. Okay, this was done by BRD. Maybe you'll pronounce it as Bird, but I'll pronounce it as BRD. Um, and Robin and Mountain are having a mahjong battle. Tafka just entered the room. It's kind of nice. Uh, it's got the chill, chill factor that really goes into it. The mahjong room, being in the middle of the room, it, it gives me that feeling of, oh, this looks very intense, <laughs> of, a, of a fight that's going on in the middle, you know. Uh, I love the fact that you put some of the nice, like, uh, sculptures that goes on in the right and the light fixtures as well. And then there's the one on the left as well. The snowy background. Oh, now that you show me this snowy background, the snowy background could have been nice for a dormitory that was in front that had the whole winter feel. Like there was someone who made like a winter dormitory design just now, right? Yeah, that wall would be very good for it. Um, I do have a slight trouble with this one. It, the moment when I look at this, I feel like I'm in Discord light mode. Like it's fine that you went for a, a white background, but I think it's too much light because you have the top lighting that goes on there, right? Then you stuck on two more lamps. You place a light fixture on the right. You place a light fixture on the, the left. And then most of the furnitures in the room as well have a white feel to them. So it gives me that whole like, wow, this is very blinding. To me, when I want to play a mahjong room and be in a setting like that, um, the lights kind of got to be like dimmed down a little bit for me to get into the game. If it's so bright, you know, it makes you more tired as to play on. At least that's just on me, like how I feel. I wanted to be experiencing the atmosphere of a game room. Uh, there's a whole Chinese feel to it because of the furniture people on the left, which is true. Mahjong is a Chinese game after all. And on the right, you put it with uh, the modernness of that whole uh, cubic sculpture, the dinosaur little thing as well. I would say it's, it's a very, very nice dorm. But there are some shifter rules that kind of need to go over there. Um, the green feels... Uh, I think that's also another reason why I felt like the, the lights really hit me. Because the green is like a turn-off light, you see. Green is not bright. So, and uh, everything on top of the mat slaps uh, immediately. That's to me. So, I, but I can understand why you probably chose the green. Because it... It's very similar to the mahjong table color that's over there. I would say it's... It makes me wonder how might I change it if I took hands on this dormitory and, you know, I, I played around with it. 
But I do like it still at the end of the day. Uh, it gave a great mood. I love the fact that you gave the atmosphere of timing uh, Robin and Mountain on their own chairs to play a game of Mahjong together. It's super, super nicely done. And what's the thing in the middle, by the way? Is that like a toy or something in the middle? I can't tell, but you play something in the middle like as if it's watching the desk as well. So it's cute, it's cute. Uh, all in all, very, very good effort. I hope you get a chance within this competition or even if not, if there's another one, I want to see more entries from you. All right, BRD, well done. Let's go to the next one. Blaze Music Room! And this is done by Dim Dim. And he's got a colon tree emote that goes on over there. So it is using a lot of the uh, Road Silent Rehearsal Room furnitures. There's a bit of the tribal hut that goes on. And the siesta, I believe there's a siesta hut background that is being used over there. So yes, I do get the feel that this is a music room that is done by Blaze. I understand why you chose the tribal hut chair, because uh, that's where like... Uh, Blaze had an appearance over there, right? With her, her own tourist bee skin that goes in. Uh, it's pretty neat. It is a music room. A music room shouldn't be too crammed with a lot of furnitures. So even though I felt like there could be more, but I understand why there's the space for it. I'm not very certain why you put a pool table triangle that's on the left there, because that belongs to a pool table. It doesn't belong in the music room. But it might be for design, you might, might want to put it there because of the like a symbol or something to de denote what kind of room it is. And then afterwards, you put the emblem on the right as well, with the poster of BDD and uh, Emperor on the right side as well. I'm not very certain if the dormitory has like a whole like big punchline that goes in this, because this, while it does feel like a music room, but it is also a mashup of the very common music room furniture just to set it all up in this one place. I may feel like you, in order to make this a really big, booming music room, it needs some sprinkles in it to really give that feel, you know, of it being that magnificent room. Um, now, because it feels very barren a little bit, so yeah, I'm not sure how you want to top up the wall or the flooring to give that uh, room a bit more of a rock style to it. Maybe the background might not even be the one that tallies with the room. Since the tribalness of the chair don't go with the background of the room now. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I get the point. I get the message that you're putting across here. It's nice. Uh, you've honored Blaze within this room and it's very, very nicely done of yours for you, Dim Dim, to have done this to give your love for Blaze. So all in all, very good effort. I will see how it goes when it comes to the voting phase in your dormitory. If not, we shall move on to the next dormitory. And we have... Ooh, Surtur's Room. Ice Cream Taste Best In. And this is done by Coco ZZ. It's not bad, actually. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a, a film set. Like, for one of those sitcoms or, like, um, drama shows... This is like the setting that you'll see. A kitchen on the left, the living room on the right, and then maybe the bedroom is like on the right as well. There might be the toilet on the left. Feels like my house. I mean, it's not my house, but like it feels like a house. <laughs> it's very, very nicely done. Uh, the, I love the arrangements. The You put a partition over there, is it? Like on the middle of the room? I'm not sure what the partition is leading into, but it's for some reason it's placed well that I don't really have a complaint with it, even though it looks like a door that leads to nowhere. Um, I, except to walk through a door. Uh, the left kitchen feel and the setting, where you put the kitchen appliances, the, the cabinet, the apron, you know, over there, it's sweet. It's so good. It makes me feel like Serta can walk in any moment, grab some food out, do her cooking on that, that table over there. And then maybe if her friend came in, like Tones came in or... Some of the other buddies come in as well. You know, she's going to feed them a meal right there over at the table. So it's very, very good, actually, of a dormitory. So clean, so simple of a design. And I love the fact that you put all the different kind of paintings on the right as well. Um, it makes the living room feel so comfortable and cozy to be a part of. Even the chair that you chose for Serta to sit on, it's a very, very smartly picked one. I, I, I like the fact that she's angled such that she's facing the television as well to watch her favorite program. This is a very, very well done dormitory. I have to say that. It's so good. It's a bit on the contrary to the previous dormitories that I've been reviewing up to now, where I said that, you know, 
gorgeousness and elegance really sells off the thing or if you really spark off the nice little creativity in the colors and all, this one is just simple. This one feels relatable. You want to be part of this place. You want to visit her house. You want to visit this place like as if this is really her home and that you are a friend of Serta to just stop by and all. So this is so pretty. Very, very nicely done, Coco Zizi. I do see your dormitory possibly doing well in the competition. So well done. I love it. We'll move on to the next one. Ooh, this dormitory says getting down to business. All right, so you've got the armory on the left and then you've got the conference room on the right. I get the point um, that there's the, the feel of it and you made it very clear that there are two different rooms. There's a storeroom on the left and there's the little room on the right. However, the wall coloring on the left, it does fit a storeroom setting, but I find the room on the right too bright on, in contrast to the storeroom. Because the white background that you chose over there, it makes me feel like I can see the exterior. And then all of a sudden, I'm slapped into this like little place. It, it doesn't make me feel like this is a conference room, actually. It makes me feel like this is a safe house, you know? Like one of those places where you run on an errand, maybe you've got it's some um, dangerous side business that you go on, and then you need to find a safe house, like in GTA, that kind of thing. Then you run in a room like that. Um, this becomes the space that you rest and relax, and you can enter the armory to get the weaponry that you want to get out. So I get the feel, uh, just that, yeah, I, I feel like there needs to be a color difference, uh, maybe not on the white background, maybe a bit more of a darker background on the right, so that it complements with that storeroom feel on the left. I love the bookshelf placements, the little tables that you place over there as well. Is Blemisha sitting on the table? You can sit on that table? I, I just realized her whole entire butt is on the table. Oh damn. <laughs> That's funny. Is it a table or a bench? I can't tell, but it looks like a table. If it's a bench and you made it look like a table, that's hilarious. Um, but still, it's very nice furniture picks. I cannot deny that the light that you chose both on the left and the right side, the little sculpture that you put on the right as well, the plants, um, placement, it's actually pretty neat, is what I would say. It's very clear cut, very um, clean of a design. Just a bit more particularness to your color picks. And I think this is exceptionally stellar of a dormitory. It's a very wonderful effort that you have done, Matt002. I love it. And I do think this can do well. And hopefully that will be the case for you. All right, Matt, good reviewing on yours. I'll move on. All right, Cafe Ambience. Hmm. I get it, but that's a lot of tables. <laughs> it's a, this is done by the author of Shao, and it's a relaxing dorm room. So you place the cafe furnitures and you place a lot of it to fill up this one place. So there's the shelving, place the menu on the side as well, the painting. Actually, this is like a one furniture set, dorm almost, right? I don't feel like you chose any furniture from the other dormitory. Like you didn't mix or infuse two in one. Actually, I wouldn't call it cafe. I might say that this is more bar-like. Usually bars are the one where you have the, the chairs and then you know you sit right at the counter so that you um, um, have a chat with the host and all. But this one, in the cafe setting, you don't normally chat with the people at the cashier. Normally people at the cashier don't want to talk to you. You know, they they rather you go to your own table, right? You chill over there, right? Purchase your food then that's it. They want to continue on with their business. I would say it's decent of a design, just that it needs the creativity factor because this is a one-piece design. So it would be nice if you thought about how you want to make this cafe and you lifted it up even more by infusing more furniture from the other sets to make this into a beautiful one. So very, very nicely done on yours, uh, Shao. But I, I hope to see even greater ideas that come from you, right, in the nearest future. So let's move on. Oh, this is done by Freya. Why does your name seem familiar? Are you a viewer of mine or are you a YouTuber? Freya seems very, very familiar of the name. Ooh. But let's take a look at the dormitory. So this dormitory is called Skadi's photo shoot. After learning how to act idol like like Sora, um, with Sora, and learning how to pose in front of the camera with Fita, Skadi quickly became an actress overnight. Today, Skadi is tasked to do a photo shoot 
we've seen. This may not have a dorm feel, but this has a scene. Like, I mean, it feels that way, but yeah, it, it's got a mood to it, you know? It's got a storyline behind it to explain why the dormitory is as such. And does it feel like a photo shoot room? For sure. The costume rack is on the left. You've got the lights, you know? That's exactly what you need in a photo shoot room. You need all the lights pointing in at the person that is the model that you have over there. And then you can have the props that's on the right as well so that if they ever need to hold anything, they can do just that. Um, there's a nice little resting area on the left with the vending machine. This is so simple of a design, but you pull it off very, very well. What a very nice idea for you that you chose the concept of a photo shoot to create the dormitory that you want. I buy it. I, I would... I would say that there are people who will want to own a dormitory like this to make whichever operator that they own feel good about being in this dormitory. Such a good pick. And it's great because you mix around so many dormitory sets, um, furniture teams to put this into the marvelous one. So well done, Freya. Very, very well done. Let's move on to... I think there's two more dormitories that I'm reviewing. This is the second last one. Or, or is this the second last one? No, this is the last one. Okay, final one for the day. So this is Noble Respite, and this is run by Ray Cillen. An exquisite private room intended as a place of gathering, or a rather important matter. It's, it's very simple. Um, it's uh, very hotel-like. Uh, definitely feels rich when I look at this place, you know, with the piano, the little like chandelier candles that goes on there, um, the sofa choice and the sculptures. It screams money when I look at this. I love the symmetry, by the way. Um, the fact that you put the curtains, the lights, and the walls. It's great. When you have a symmetry, that is a design style that makes it sell. The trouble here is you've placed a lot of furniture on the left and the right, but it somehow makes me feel like there needs to be more on the left and the right, like maybe a little plant or two, or like a cabinet of sort, to give this room a little bit more of the a full feel. Because I said that this feels like a rich place, right? Since it was going with the vibe... Oh no, there is a thing I want to change. The background. I'm not certain which one you might want to pick that's a little different. But the... Maybe that was the feel that you want to go for. Because it gives me a very rustic feeling. Expensive place, but yet it's got a very oldish design as well. But... Since you place some modernness within this room with the white sofa and the white um, little tree that's over there, yeah, I feel like there can be a little bit more. You know the snowy background that we saw in the previous ones? That might complement very well in this room, I feel. Since this, you place like uh, Mr. Nothing and Silver Ash in this room, I really think the snowy background works with this one. And with a little bit more sprinkle of a furniture or two, this is truly one heck of a noble respite. Um, very, very restful room. A room that makes me feel like I probably won't ever be in this place because this place feels so expensive for me. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, this is a very great effort from you, Ray Silen. Thank you for ending my journey of reviewing all the dormitories today. And after such a long time of reviewing, I feel like I lost my voice. <laughs> I reviewed too hard. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this process. This is just going to be the first 16 dormitories that I'll review. There'll be even more to come. I can't review every single one of your entries. So if some of you are hoping for me to get into your dormitories to give you some comments, it's not going to be possible to get to everyone. I try my best to film as many videos of such things as possible. But otherwise, I enjoyed this process. I hope you did as well. Let me know how you feel about my reviewing of these things and I'll see how to improve along based on the comments that you guys give me. Really hope you guys enjoy it. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.